Several countries have expressed keen interest in the Rudram 2 anti-radiation missile. 450 kilometers of border fencing along Bangladesh is pending, because West Bengal state government is not giving land for the fencing. Bharat Earth Movers Limited in collaboration with the RDO, has launched the indigenous 12 by 12 high mobility vehicle. Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited is looking to achieve 70% AK-203 indigenization by August 2025, and 100% indigenization by December 2025. Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with Force Motors and Mohindra for 5,000 light vehicles for the Indian Armed Forces. Ministry of Defense has signed a 1,801 crore rupees contract with Armored Vehicle Nigam Limited for the procurement of NAMI's tracked version of anti-tank weapon platform. General Electric has said that it will supply 11 more F-404 engines to Hindustan Aeronautics before the end of 2025. The Parliamentary Committee on Public Undertakings has slammed Hindustan Aeronautics for prolonged project timelines, impaired costs, and missed strategic opportunities. Due to revisions in the delivery schedule of Tejas Mark I FOC fighter jets, Hindustan Aeronautics has revised its 5,989 crore rupees contract signed in 2010 with the Indian Air Force to 6,542 crore rupees. Recent close-up images of China's J-20 has revealed exposed rivets, panel seams and other surface imperfections, that have led many to question the stealth credentials of the J-20. Senior Defence Ministry officials have held deliberations with 50 Indian startups and micro small and medium enterprises, to understand key challenges affecting these ventures, and support them in accelerating innovation. In a significant development for India's AMCA program, Russia has extended an offer to jointly develop a new flat nozzle design for the fifth-generation stealth fighter, if India selects its product 177S engine, that boasts 142 kN thrust and stealth-optimized features. Russia's new proposal introduces a flat two-dimensional nozzle design for the AMCA, similar to the American F-22 Raptor that could enhance the AMCA's stealth profile. The flat two-dimensional nozzle disperses heat more effectively, and aligns exhaust flow with the aircraft body, minimizing detection by enemy sensors. If the offer is accepted, Hindustan Aeronautics and the RDO engineers will work alongside United Engine Corporation to tailor the nozzle to the AMCA's airframe, and will integrate indigenous materials and digital control systems. The Indian Navy will collaborate with Boeing to integrate the DRDO developed 350 km range naval anti ship missile medium range into its fleet of Boeing P 8I aircraft. It is already tailored for the Navy's MiG 29K fighter jets, and is slated for integration with the Rafale Marine, but its expansion to the P 8I fleet will give it the capability to engage small to medium sized warships. As the project 76 inches closer to Cabinet Committee on Security approval within the next few months, the DRDO is actively exploring partnerships to develop a local marine engine, that will be manufactured in India under a transfer of technology agreement with 90-95% indigenous content. The first two Project 76 submarines will be fitted with imported German engines, while the remaining four submarines will get the indigenous engine, that will generate over 3000 horsepower, and each submarine will be equipped with two such engines. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>